Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are unboxing the MacBook Pro with Retina display. This is the 15 inch model, 2.7 gigahertz with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. And I'm pretty excited to get inside of it. As you can see, it is super thin and it's very, very sleek. So I'm very excited to show you guys what's inside of here and get it set up for you in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. We see MacBook Pro on the side of the box. We have an Apple logo on that side and another Apple logo on this side. And again, we have MacBook Pro. So nothing fancy going on with the box. All we have listed on the back side of the box are the specifications. So that's about it, nothing special. So let's go ahead and get inside of this guy and check it out here. We'll grab a little handy guitar pick to open up the plastic here. And this is kind of an iPad style box where it uh, actually just comes out in two pieces. It doesn't have the flap like the traditional standard MacBook Pros do. So keep that in mind uh, as we take off the plastic here. We have a nice looking white matte finish box with the MacBook Pro on the front. Let's go ahead and slide it open here. And once we get it open, the MacBook Pro with Retina display is revealed to us in all of its glory. And it's very beautiful and very, very thin, as you can see there. It's so thin. Uh, for a computer this powerful, it is the thinnest MacBook I've ever seen. And here are the accessories inside. We do have the power cable here, as you can see. And this will connect to the wall block to extend the reach of the charger there. So keep that handy. I always use those. Then we do have the power block here. And just the same as any other MacBook power block, except we do have the MagSafe 2 connector, which is slightly thinner to kind of go with the thin body of the MacBook Pro. And here we have our little welcome guide. We have our little startup manual, nothing special in there, just kind of gives you an overview of the MacBook's features. We have a little important product guide here. Then we do have our Apple stickers, which I love, and microfiber cloth. So that's all that's in the box, everybody. That's all she wrote, nothing else. And now the time has come to take a look at the MacBook. Let's go ahead and take off the plastic here. All you have to do is flip it over and then you have to pull off this little plastic piece here. Break that seal, open it up, and get into your brand new MacBook Pro with Retina display. So slide it out of the packaging there and we are almost ready to go. Like I said, this thing is so beautiful. It's so thin, and I'm gonna show you that here. Look at the display, it's ridiculously thin. The entire MacBook is very impressive, and I'm glad to finally have one. You know, I, I was waiting for them to kind of give it a little spec upgrade, and they did recently, and so I went out and picked one up, and as you can see, it is just beautiful. Beautiful and thin, and I really love it. There's my finger for a comparison of how small this thing is, but it's still very, very powerful. So let's go ahead and get this guy set up and get it going, and I will show you how to get into your brand new MacBook Pro with Retina display. So let's go ahead and power this guy on using the power key on the keyboard, which is where they move the button to. It's right there on the keyboard. Hold that down. And we have life. So we're going to go ahead and get going with the uh, setup process here. And some of this I'm going to skip through, like things like my Apple ID, which you cannot see. Let's go ahead and select our language here and press continue there. And the next thing we're going to do here is select our region, and we're still on the welcome screen, as you can see, selecting United States because that's where I live. You can select a keyboard if you'd like and connect to a Wi-Fi network. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network here, type in my passcode for the Wi-Fi network, and click on continue. So here you have the option to transfer information to your Mac. You don't have to do that. I'm not transferring anything to this Mac. I like to start fresh and clean on a new MacBook. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this option for now. But you do have that option to transfer from a time machine backup or from another Mac if you'd like. It's up to you, really. But I'm going to go ahead and skip it, like I said. So let's go ahead and just uh, click on that Continue button because Not Now is selected. We can enable location services here if you'd like and here's where you enter your Apple ID in so let's move past that 
and you have to accept the terms and conditions or you won't be allowed to enter your MacBook Pro. Now we can set up iCloud, things like iMessage and Find My Mac, stuff like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up Find My Mac so that in case I lose my MacBook, then I will be able to find it. Next, we are given the option to set our full name our account name and our password along with a couple of options to allow the Apple ID to reset this user's password and we can also prompt for a password on login. And next we're going to select our time zone here. I'm going to select Arizona because we have a funky time zone over here and click continue. And now you have the option to register the MacBook if you'd like. That's completely optional. But as you can see here, we are finished and we can now start using our Mac. And just in case you're curious, uh, yes, it's true. The display is beautiful. If you've never seen one of these, I, I highly recommend going to the Apple Store and checking it out. And I will also drop some links for you down below in the description if you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself here. So this is the 2013, I guess you would say, Retina MacBook Pro. It's the 15-inch model. It's so thin. It's so beautiful. And I really do love it. I'm going to have a lot of fun using this thing and being able to crank out some more awesome videos for you guys out there in YouTube land. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. And if you could, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.